Hello everybody, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks. Today I'm going to bring you a video tutorial on a WordPress software plugin. It's called Photocraty. Those that have a photography business or wish to sell portraits online to customers, this is a software program that would be used for those websites. So this tutorial will cover how to set some of the features for the e-commerce site along with creating pages, password protecting pages, as well as creating and deleting the galleries. So first of all, you should have received a username and a password from us for your website. If not, uh, please go and contact us and we can provide you the username and password to log in. Uh, to log in, of course, you need to come to a site like this, which is bringing up the username and the password. We should provide you the website link for your specific page. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here, and then it's going to bring us to our dashboard. So this is the dashboard for this customer's page. To first set the e-commerce settings, up here it says theme options. Click on the theme options, and then you have e-commerce settings. Click on e-commerce settings. Now in here, this is where the payment information will go. The Photocraty plugin, or the software, uses PayPal for making payments. That means that you as a receiver of payments need to ensure that you actually have a PayPal account so that you are set up to receive payments. In this case, you will then put your account email, your PayPal email address in this box here, and then the next thing would be a return URL. After somebody makes a payment to you, this is the site that they are then redirected to. Typically, you will not need to change this. We will set this up for you. Then if you scroll down a little more, there are some more options, but the next main items that you need to be concerned with are the print size options and prices. Now this customer is making use of all 12 options as you can see here, and you can indicate a title or what the option is along with a price. So this individual had me fill them out for them. Uh, it says eight wallets, four three and a half by fives, and so on. And then in the price field, you can just put the individual price, such as nine for nine dollars, but make sure you do not put a dollar sign in here. This will actually break the software. So you can put in nine, or you can even do nine dollars or nine fifty, or however you would like to do that. The rest of this is fairly straightforward. Of course, you're going to be using U.S. dollars, uh, the shopping cart title. All of this typically doesn't need to be set. Uh, now for tax, if you are taxing or if you are required to have sales tax for your customers, put in your sales tax here, give it a name, and then the tax method should be before shipping. Typically you're not going to charge tax on the shipping charge as well. For shipping settings, you can have free shipping. Now for this customer, they want shipping for, for, on free, for everything. So they don't have anything on their site that is less than $9.00. So I just put $5 as the minimum. Of course, you can change this to one or however you'd like. You can also change international shipping on or off. In this case, it's off. And uh, there is no pricing, even though I did put $5 over here. I'll go ahead and change this to zero. And then I will change this to one. And then I can update those settings. So save e-commerce settings. So that is the general information on how you can update your prices and your options that you have available for your pictures. Now let's go ahead and create a page and a gallery. So you'll click on pages over here on the left hand side and then this will show you all the pages. Now I made one previously called test. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and then we'll start fresh. So let's go ahead and add a new page. Now for the page title, you will want to name this something for your customers. So if I'm doing a wedding for the Smith family, then I may say Smith Wedding, and I'll give that the title. Now before we can really go any further, we actually kind of need to come down here and hit Publish, where it says Save Draft. So click Save Draft. Alright, so that page has now been saved as a draft. Now the next thing, this is the link to this page. Notice that if you want to actually keep this page hidden so that you actually will be providing this link directly to the customer, then you can give them this link which will take them to their gallery. This is useful if you do not want the gallery to appear as a link on your website so it keeps it hidden. 
So if somebody does not know what this link is, they will not be able to find the gallery. Another way that you can actually protect the page is by password protecting it. Under the publish area down here, it says visibility public. Here I'm going to click on edit, and then it gives me the option for password protect. So I'm going to click on password protect, and then it asks me for the password. So I'm just going to put a password of test in here. So now you have to have the password in order to access the page. So if you want to add this page to a menu and you want to make sure that it's password protected, ensure that you password protect it and then hit OK. OK, so let's go ahead and create a gallery and add this to the page. First of all, if you want to have any text that's going to appear above the gallery, make sure you type it in here. So I'm just going to say this, excuse me, these are the portraits from the Smith wedding. All right, so that's going to appear above all the pictures in the gallery. Now you click New Photocratic Gallery slash Album. In this case, we want an e-commerce so that they can add these items to their cart. So click e-commerce and title. I would always name this the title of the page that you just created. You can kind of see up here it's grayed out, but it says Smith Wedding. So I'm going to make the title of this Photocratic Gallery also Smith Wedding. Now let's add images. Notice it says a maximum file size of 2 megabytes per photo applies. So when you are uploading pictures, make sure that they are lower than that in size. You may need to change your camera um, to do so, but you would need to make sure they are less than 2 megabytes in order to upload them to your site. So click Add Images. A box then appears where you can search and find your images. And here I here we go. I just found some pictures and put them on here. So to highlight all of these, make sure you just use your left mouse button and click the very first one, and then go down to the last one. Hold down your shift key, and then hit the left mouse button again, and you can see it selects all of them. And then we hit OK, and now it's going to go through and upload all of them. You can see here it's going through one by one and uploading each of them to the server. Depending on their file sizes, this will take a long time. You can see that these are pretty small, 27 kilobytes or so each. Now you can see the preview for all of the pictures that we just added to the gallery. So you can see all those pictures that I had. And then there's a Save Gallery button. Go ahead and click Save Gallery. And it's saving it. Okay, so that is done. Now, you don't need to worry about all this code, just leave it as is. Uh, no changes are really required there. And you can see down here at the bottom, it shows you what gallery has been applied to this page. All right, so we are done with the page. Go ahead and hit Publish now. And the page is done. Now, unless you know this civic URL, you're not going to get to it because we haven't made the menu item. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this first and then open it in a new tab here so we can get directly to it. And notice it says protected, passwords protected. So again, the password we entered was test. So test, hit submit, and there's the portraits. Everything is in there. Okay, so that's how you would get to the site. Now, if you wanna make it so that you have a link and there is a drop down menu where it will show all of your pictures or each of your galleries, we need to go back to the admin section and make a menu item for this. To get there, click on Appearance. And then click on Menus. You can see here, these are all the menu items that we have in the current menu. Home, About, Galleries, Contact, Packages, and Your Cart. If you scroll down here, this then shows you all of the other pages that we have created. So here is Smith Wedding. Let's click Smith Wedding and hit Add to Menu. Okay, so right now as it stands, if we leave it like this, it's going to appear right here. It's a Smith Wedding if we didn't change anything and we just saved the menu. We don't want it there, we want it as a drop down under this galleries. So we come back here, click and drag it right here. Notice how it's indented under galleries now. Now we hit Save Menu. Okay, the menu has been saved. Let's go back and refresh this page. Let's go to Home. And now if we go Galleries, see the hover? And the drop-down menu now has Smith Wedding. 
So that is how they'll be able to access it if you actually want the galleries to appear on the site so they can access it that way. Now it didn't ask us for a password this time because we previously entered it. So that is how you will create your picture galleries and also add it to your menu. So of course again you have to go to pages and then you'll do add new and then you'll go through and you'll create the page and then make sure you come back and go to appearance and then choose menus and then add the menu item. Now when you are all done with this gallery, when you no longer need it, it's best to delete it off of the web hosting server. That way it will keep your site running in tip top shape. So how do we do that? Well first of all we need to go to pages and then we will go into the page that we just created, the Smith Wedding. So let's go into Smith Wedding. Now we scroll down here where it lists our photo galleries and albums. Now make sure you hit delete gallery before you delete this page. If you delete the page first, then this gallery will never be deleted and it will stay on the server. So we hit delete gallery. Are you sure you want to delete? Hit OK. And then go ahead and hit update. Okay, so that is now done. So the gallery has been removed and deleted from the site. So if we refresh this Smith Wedding page, you can see there are no portraits now. Now how do we delete the page from showing up? Again, you'll click on Pages, and where it says Smith Wedding, hit Trash. So you hit Trash, and then it moves it to Trash. So click on the Trash, and then make sure you hit Delete Permanently. And this other one was a test I did, so I'm also going to delete this one as well. Okay, so if we come back to the site, we'll hit Home. And if we go to Home Galleries, notice how it automatically will delete the menu item for you. So when you delete the page, you will not need to go into the menu and delete it from there. So that is generally how you will create pages, galleries, and then also subsequently delete those galleries and pages from your site for those individuals that have a photography-based website. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at the BSN Tech Network's website at www.bsntech.com. This again is Brian with BSN Tech. Thank you for watching.